everyone. Uh, we all have heard about autism spectrum disorder. We all know about its symptoms. But autism spectrum disorder is way beyond those symptoms and the jargon. Well, we have been knowing for years now that autism is something that is related to brain development, where the brain development is in some way affected where a child faces challenges when it comes to social interaction, communication, and uh, faces some repetitive difficult behaviors, at times accompanied with intellectual problems or at times not accompanied with it. When I say it is something related to brain development, we need to understand what is it, okay? Let me put it this way. All of our brains develop, but then all of us have differences in the way each one of our brain has developed, right? That is why some of us are good at maths, some of us are bad at it, some of us are good at arts, some of us might not be good at it, right? For example, I have this uh, little issue with the way my brain has developed is where I get a little confused when it comes to right-left orientation. You know, somebody asked me to uh, look at right, I get a little confused and tend to quickly go towards left. The point is that all of us, our brains do develop and all of us have some problems or subtle challenges or subtle deficits in some of the other areas. But these deficits, which are very subtle, they don't come in our ways of daily functioning. We all are able to function well in spite of these small issues that come up because our brains develop differently. In children with autism, the same thing happens their development is also different, but their development is way different than normal community or normal population, I would say. That is why we all are neurotypical and these children are called as neurodiverse. Okay, so let's get first thing clear that autism is not a disease, but it is a difference, a significant difference in the way a child's brain is developing. And let me clarify a little bit more on that, you know, so how different is this brain development and why does it impact them? Okay, and why we have to work on that. Uh, let us say, for example, sensory systems of our brain. We all are aware that there are five senses, right? Uh, the touch, taste, hearing, smell, okay, and vision. These are our five senses. Let me add on to it two more senses. Uh, one more sense is vestibular sense, which is concerned with maintaining the balance and the movement. And the other sense is called as proprioceptive sense, which is concerned with body positioning or the awareness of how my body and various body parts are placed or they need to be placed in a particular environment or in a particular situation. Now, when all these senses are developed, in a way that they are working in a synchronized way, I won't have problems in my day-to-day -day functioning. For example, if I choose to read a book, what does it involve? It involves taking a book, holding it with proper position of my body, proper positioning of my fingers, opening the book, which again involves proper positioning of my fingers and utilization of proper force, balancing the book in my hand, holding it in a right distance, reading the words wherein my visual sense is getting involved uh, and my oral uh, or my speaking is involved. So all these things, when they are working in sync, I would be able to read. Once I complete the page, I would be able to flip the page. The sound that involves while flipping the page doesn't disturb me, although I hear it. Why? Because the way the sensory signals pass through my sensory systems are also very much well controlled and well regulated by my brain and the system, right? This, that's why I am able to do that task perfectly without getting disturbed at all. What happens when an autistic child is there and his brain is developed differently? The same task, if you tell him to do, 
because his some of his sensory systems are not developed correctly or some of the sensory systems are hyper functioning the simple sound of flipping the page of the book might set him into a chaos he might get very disturbed by that simple rustling sound of paper why because the input of that rustling sound is not processed correctly due to defects in the wiring of the brain or the way the brain has developed till now right now that chaos is going to make the child anxious and when we are anxious what do we do again we are able to control our anxiety by resorting to some fidgety movements but this child will resort into flapping of hands possibly we see that to be something oh what is he doing we don't see my fidgetiness as something very out of the box we don't see it array what is she doing right why because this is a very common behavior that we tend to see when somebody gets anxious when might get fidgety but this child when he shows flapping of hands this is not something that we see commonly so we feel array what the hell is he doing right but that is because of the way his brain has developed differently okay it is not that he's doing it something on purpose or it's not that he has not been taught how to behave or he has not been taught how to manage his anxiety no it is coming out of the uh, irregular connections in his sensory system uh, which i don't have because i am lucky to be blessed by some connections which are very regular and uh, well formed neural connections right that is what autism and the symptoms uh, look like and they come from okay the point is that if this is what has happened in autism to ek bar brain develop ho gaya matlab ho gaya abhi uska kuch nahi kar sakte no well the good news is that when i say brain is developing it means that it is changing brain is that one organ which is always dynamic it is never static it changes till the last breath of our life this ability of the brain to change the ability of the neural network to change is what we call it as neuroplasticity the plasticity that's why also is the capacity of the brain to change to what to change to various inputs and the experiences what it keeps on getting from the environment okay this is something which is a boon to us for helping the children with autism because we know that neurons can get rewired can eliminate certain neural connections in the circuitry or can form new connections or they can strengthen the new connections if you give them right stimulus and right inputs and right experiences that is what we do for these autistic kids we try to develop their sensory system or their neural system in that way we try to rewire the defective circuitry we try to eliminate the defective circuitry by subjecting them to various inputs and various experiences and that is nothing but our therapy what we do the occupational therapy or the aba therapy the names you might have heard of the fancy names okay so this is a boon to us now remember when i talk of changing the neural network via neuroplasticity definitely it is not going to be a one day job it cannot be like okay uh, i start a particular uh, exercise for my child today and within one month he should be able to talk properly or communicate properly that's not going to happen these changes are very subtle okay you have to set small goals and work towards those small goals you cannot aim the child to be perfect in next 6 months it is not about perfect it perfection it is about progress that we make every time we give child that experience and input and the change that it then further uh, brings about in the neural system of our child so the change happens but the change is coming in increments it is going to be intangible initially you have to wait for it and you have to believe on the signs of neuroplasticity for our children of autism to get better this understanding this perspective of autism is something which will help all of us to overcome the helplessness that sets in while we start the treatment of our children okay because we don't see tangible changes 
we give up on uh, the, the therapy or the treatment very, very quickly. Okay, but if we can continue giving those inputs and stimuli for longer a time, definitely a tangible change is soon going to come. So let us perceive autism in this perspective by going beyond symptoms and understanding what goes inside and then prepare ourselves to choose change over helplessness when it comes to treatment of autism. Mm -hmm.